When cells detect a stressor in the environment, it has the ability to make adaptive changes to itself. Now, why would this happen? When there is stress that endangers the normal structure and function of a cell, then that cell will then undergo changes to adapt, and this allows for the cell to maintain its function and to therefore survive. Now, one of the ways a cell can adapt is known as hypertrophy. Hypertrophy. And hypertrophy is an increase in the cell size. So the size of a single individual cell will increase, which also then increases the amount of functional tissue because cells form the tissues. So in this first row of cells, we have the normal set of cells. And then we have this nucleus in blue here. And if they undergo hypertrophy, then each individual cell will become enlarged. And the number of cells will stay the same, but we will now have bigger cells. And when introduced to stressors, such as a demand for increased workload, many types of cells will undergo hyperplasia, which is an increase in the actual number of cells, but the cell size of each cell stays the same. However, some cells, such as the cardiac muscle cells, cannot undergo mitosis to form more cells, which is hyperplasia, but they still have to adapt in order to meet this new demand for an increase in workload. So how does the cell do it? Well, it must increase the functional components within itself, which in turn increases the size of the cell, which we call hypertrophy, and which we can see depicted here. So hypertrophy is an increase in the size of the cell to achieve the same function if given increased work.